Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to be discussing the topic of enzymes. Enzymes are biological catalysts which speed up the reaction rate without actually getting involved with the reaction itself. Examples of enzymes Salivary amylase Pepsin Renin Lipase Catalase Isomerase, phosphorylase, maltase, lactase, sucrase. Types of enzymes. Carbohydrase digests the carbohydrates, e.g. salivary amylase. Protease digests the proteins, e.g. pepsin. Lipase digests the fats e.g. enzymes from the pancreas. How an enzyme works. An enzyme has an active site similar to the shape of the substrata. When the enzyme comes into contact with the substrata, it fits like a jigsaw and exerts pressure onto the substrata at a specific point so that it breaks up into a simpler substance. The properties of enzymes. All enzymes are proteins. All enzymes work best at a specific temperature known as the optimum temperature. Enzymes get denatured, lose shape of their active site if its optimum temperature is exceeded. Enzymes work the fastest at a specific pH level and, like temperature, get denatured when the pH exceeds the optimum. Enzymes are specific in nature. They can only break down a specific substrata. Factors affecting enzymes. Temperature. As the temperature of a reaction mixture increases, the kinetic energy inside the reacting particles increases as well. This leads to a high collision frequency to build up. This causes the substrata and the enzyme to collide more frequently and thus increases the rate of reaction. However, at a certain temperature, the enzyme loses the shape of its active site, resulting in the rate of reaction drastically falling. pH The pH for any enzyme to work depends upon its environment of production. For most enzymes in the human body, the optimum pH is 7, neutral. However, there are a few exceptions, such as pepsin, the enzyme that works in the stomach where dilute hydrochloric acid is secreted and the pH is as low as 2. Enzymes can work at pH slightly higher or lower than their optimum pH. Using enzymes Uses in biological washing powders. In order to break down organic substances such as carbohydrates, proteins and fats that chemical detergents fail to break, such biological catalysts are used. Organic stains such as blood, oil, butter, egg, etc. are broken down to simpler substances in the presence of proteinases. Enzymes need to have an optimum temperature of at least 70 degrees Celsius and hence are extracted from thermophilic bacteria or bacteria living near hot springs to remove the other components of the dirt and so that other parts of the detergent work as well. The enzymes found in these bacteria are majorly proteases and lipases. In order to keep these biological catalysts away from skin contact, as proteases can digest skin cells made up of protein, they are packed in microscopic packets that only dissolve in the presence of water. Uses in the food industry Foods contain a substance known as pectin that is present within the primary and secondary cell walls of the fruit cell. In industrial fruit juice extraction, an enzyme called a pectinase is used to break down the pectin present so that it is easier to squeeze the juice out. This relatively increases the volume of juice extracted and thus makes it economical for the company. 
Other than fruit juices, enzymes are also used in baby food production, where the food is treated with proteases and carbohydrates to break it down to simpler substances. This helps the baby's body to easily absorb the food with indigestion prevented. Another use of enzymes is in sugar syrup production, where amylase is used to break down starch to the sweet-tasting disaccharide maltose. This is the end of our guide. Thank you for listening. We hope you found it informative. Next, we will be talking about the chemicals of life. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe for more. Until next time, take care.